Hello everyone, welcome back. It's uh, good to see you all and um, I'm looking forward to sharing with you what we're going to be doing today. Um, but before we go up into the loft to have some fun and talk about what I want to talk about, I wanted to say um, that with everything that's been going on, um, we all know about it, COVID-19, it's been a bit of a um, <laughs> difficult situation, terrible situation. And on a Thursday, we'll clap our hands um, at eight o'clock in the evening or bash pots and pans. And it's our way of giving our appreciation to the NHS for everything that they've been doing. And I was wondering, what could I do more? And as an engineer, I was thinking, oh, maybe I can make things. But I understand that also causes some trouble to try and get things into the system and having them approved. Um, and I thought, well, with the platform that I have on YouTube, with yourselves, as well as my Trish Bits one that I have for my racing. I'm trying to get some attention to um, the NHS charities together, which I'm trying to generate some money um, into that. Um, so on um, the website, let me just check, um, that I'm doing the money collecting is um, uk.virginmoneygiving.com forward slash Tristram Neil. And I'll put the link below and what I'm going to do in return um, by trying to collect some money is I'm going to shave my entire beard off and all my hair and I'm going to look very interesting because I like my beard and my hair. Um, I've never had a shaved head um, and I've enjoyed having my beard since growing it. So um, please, please, um, if you do have some spare coins, if, if you're in that situation, um, donate um, anything that you feel would be um, you know available for you to do and if not fair enough I understand um, but it all will all go to the NHS and on the 9th of May I will take all the hair off and the beard and maybe we'll have some fun with it along the way so that over uh, I'd like to talk to you about um, some bits that I ordered in the post I put all in one box I didn't spend a lot of money actually probably a total about £12 I think maybe I've gone under there but um, it's getting towards the end of the month I had a little bit of spare cash and there's some things I wanted to get engines running I'll just get them all out now and we'll, we'll see what they are uh, so I'll treat myself because I haven't got myself anything so far because you don't know what's going to happen with all the coronavirus um, bits and bobs in are you going to go and get furloughed or whatever so um, I've been holding out, um, but no, I, what I got myself was some, whoop, I don't know if we'll be in, I'll hide behind it here. Um, these are 009 couplers, um, and on the engine that I wanted to paint, it's just up here, one second. I've got this little one. Don't be shy. There we are, we're in focus. So this little man, um, I want to, I already gave him some coat of green. But though it is a bit lumpy because it already had boy, four coats of three different colours before. So I'm wondering if maybe we strip it down and we'll go fresh. Um, but um, I broke the coupler off the back. Um, and the front one's got this older style one to hook on the three chains. Um, that I think were on the other ones. I don't know, it's just got a little tag that goes over. So what I thought, because it's got the easy assembly stuff, um, is I could fashion these on. Why not, right? Let's just do it. Um, and there's four there, so I could do both engines. If I strip this one down, make it fresh, repaint it, um, and then I've got my GWR. Um, got these little while ago. So these are my loco decals, my transfers. Thought, let's get them on. I know I talked about them on a previous video, but I'm really looking forward to doing it. Um, it should be good, should be really good. Um, so that will be that, and this this guy will look great. Um, he runs all right. One thing I'd love to do is because I'm, like I said, I'm an engineer. Um, I'd like to put some wheels on the back and fashion that on sometime. Because when he goes along, sometimes he goes, doop, doop, doop. <laughs> so he goes along, and uh, you know, imagine you're uh, the driver or the fireman, you'd be bouncing around in this thing as you're getting going. So I thought, let's support it. Give some little power rollers at the back. Uh, the next thing that I got was a body. Okay, well, let's get that in view. There we go. Um, this is a pug body, um, and it was I think about four pounds fifty 
on uh, eBay. I couldn't believe it when I found it. And it's brand new and it's brilliant. And it will replace uh, this one. So this one's had not too much of a beating. So I've got some chips in everything. This is my my pug. Let's, there we are, we're in Zoom. Um, it's, it's missing some little bits and bobs on it. And I thought what I can do is I can paint this one with Great Western Railway colours. Um, I can put some proper buffers on it um, and have some fun with it. Um, and eventually get a cab to go on as well. Uh, but I thought I could put this one on for now because it's in crisp condition. It's got all the uh, the bumpers. Um, and the other thing is I need to rebuild this one, take the body off. Because when I go over the um, points with the other two, um, they go over absolutely fine. And what I did was I got my battery. Let's find it. Um, it's a PP3 battery, 9 volts. And what I do is I put it on the wheel. So I put it on the rears. It runs and put it on the fronts. It kind of doesn't really run. So when this goes over some points, it stops because two of the wheels aren't contacting very well. And I've had a look at the contacts and I can just see them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get it apart sometime, get it working. Um, but that's what I've been doing now is checking on each set of wheels, which ones the contacts are actually working on. Um, and my two pugs are working fine, but the third pug is um. And then the most fantastic thing that has come came in letter form, right, not on that one, <laughs> so in letter form, um, I have these, some brushes and some springs for Bobo, and Bobo will hopefully come alive, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit them now, and then we'll go up into the loft and have some fun, um, been really looking forward to getting him going, um, yeah, uh, the one thing that I would like to do is the contacts only work off two of the wheels and then the other two and it would be really cool to have on the rolling axle to do like put contacts on both sides and then have that running in so it runs better over the points and everything um, which generally runs better but that's something for another day it's something I haven't done before but I'd like to so I'll get this done and then we'll go upstairs okay Okay, so it's not straightforward. I've already had a go and I had some trouble. And what it was, was where it connects to the chassis, here I am, um, the connection wasn't quite touching on the motor side of it. So I took it apart and realized my mistake. Well, it wasn't really my mistake. I must have touched it when I first worked on it. But anyway, it's working. I understand more about the engine. And we'll let him couple himself up. Runs nice and slow. Looks alright. Oh, bye bye. It's awesome. Runs really nicely, actually. Can just connect up with the coaches. Connected. Let's go. Here she comes. Or he. I don't know what to be called. Oh, he, she. Oh. Doesn't like that bit. Ah, it's alright. It's alright. Messy railway. He <laughs> needs a sort out after putting the. Um, the sky up. Sorry, I'm looking at the engine in, in awe. Come on, baby. Bobo was my first ever big diesel, my only big diesel actually. So I've got my 08 and, and that's it. It's really smoothy, apart from when it gets to that bit. Maybe that bit of track needs to clean. It seems to make too much difference. 
We'll just call this the evening shot. It goes down there. This is the 009 track. This is the 009 track looking incredibly uh, <laughs> good at the moment. But will improve. But yeah, she's doing alright. I'm going to go a little bit faster with her now. We'll do is run some of the other engines. I've had a lot of fun here in the loft with these beauties. <laughs> the uh, Bobo went around really, really well. Uh, I was chuffed to bits because um, people say they sound like a bag of nails, and kind of, yeah, but this is like a really refined bag of nails. And I was, I don't know, I was kind of pleased it was to hear that noise again running smoothly and faultlessly actually for the whole time was awesome. So, anyway, I uh, hope you liked it, and um, I'll see you soon anyway. Look after yourselves. And uh, see you later. Bye.